Guys, in today's video, we're just going to be doing a quick update on my isopod tank that I filmed a while ago. I'll link that video up here, but it's really old and really bad. But guys, I really am so sorry. I just wanted to say, guys, the Discord drama, I'm so sorry, guys. I did set up a Discord. It will be linked in the description, guys. This is the right link, but only a certain number of people can click it. I think I set this one for 10. So you guys better click it, click, and then I will put it in every single one of my um videos so yeah um tell me if this link works guys and if this doesn't work um i'll just stop the discord because it won't be fair if only certain people can get in the discord so if this doesn't work for another like two days then i'll stop the discord guys um but like definitely go drop a follow and go um say hi in the discord i'm on it almost every day um so yeah i put that link in the description um, in today's video, we're going to be doing, like I said, um, the isopod thing. So I consider isopods more than just like a cleanup crew. I think they're pretty cool pets to have. If you can't get isopods, like order them online, like what I did, you can go outside, collect two, um, a male and a female isopod, and then you can put them in the cage, wait six months of those, male and female will die off, and then all the babies will be captive bred. Um, if you know what I'm saying, because it kind of breeds out, make sure the isopods are healthy. So I'm going to get the tank out, show you guys the tank. Talk about what I feed them, what I use the isopods for, and stuff like that. This was requested by um, one of my YouTube friends called Thrive Pet Design. I'll link her channel up here. I'll also link um, Misty the Hamster's channel up here. And I'll also link Ivy's channel up here. You guys all asked for a shout out nicely. Um, so do not worry. Um, yeah. So yeah, definitely go give a sub to all of them, guys. And now let's get into the video. Alright, so here's the actual isopod tank got tons of holes drilled on top we just got this little clear container guys so you just open it up guys and i just fit them some strawberries just as you guys can see you guys can see all the babies right here there's a baby on in this carrot if my camera would focus guys you can see there's like three babies right in there you can see them crawling up in there. Camera does not like to focus. There's one right there, guys. Then there's also some on the strawberry. You guys can really just see all of them. When I lift up this, guys, there's going to be tons, so keep your eyes ready. You guys can see them all on the bottom right there. Tons of babies, guys. Tons of babies. And as we dig through the substrate more. Sorry guys, we're losing the background by the way. Make sure you guys, if you didn't already, drop a like and smash that subscribe button. Um, but you guys can see the adults like to hide in the top. Babies are all over the bottom. Um, like I said, we got some pieces of strawberries in here. I'm going to see if I can pick up some of the babies for you guys. Okay, we got a handful of substrate. We're going to see guys if we can see any babies in this handful guys. I don't see any guys. Oh, here's a baby right here. Here's one of the babies, guys. They're wicked fast. He just told you to make sure you like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the little setup. I feed them strawberries. I feed them almost every day. But if you guys do know about this little black mold that's growing on the side, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Um, yes, Noah, yes. They heard you to like and subscribe. They heard you. Um, definitely no. You guys can see one is on the strawberry right here. There's a little baby right there. Sorry guys, my camera does not like to focus. You guys can kind of see him crawling. There we go. A little bit better focus. There you guys go, you can see them. There's tons of little babies in here like that. Um, you guys can see there's just tons of babies on the bottom of this. There's actually tons of babies. You guys can see them all. I don't know what I suppose they are. Um, I got them from outside. I got them about this size. Um, and then they just bred and bred and bred and bred. And then that's how now I have like a whole colony of isopods. And I think that's really cool, guys. And I know, I know. 
They already heard you saying to like and subscribe now. I already put the text up early. But you guys can see, this is what they look like. My camera would actually focus. They're pretty cool, little dudes. There we go, it's starting to focus. You guys can see, they're pretty cool dudes. I'm gonna get back to you guys when my camera actually focuses. There we go guys, my camera decided to focus, oh, and now it's out of focus again. Um, but guys, I just want to say, these are great little pets, you can just let them run around your little hand, they're great first pets, they're pretty easy. Um, I will probably make a care guide in these little guys, this is just like a update video, but yeah, you guys can see how small this would focus. But yeah, they're pretty cool guys, you can just have like a ton of them in like a little container and you want some decent substrate for them to burrow around but you can just like put them on your hand like this and they're pretty chill as you guys can see and for my camera to focus you guys can see they have all different patterns sorry guys my camera's out of focus again don't worry i'm getting a new camera probably pretty soon for christmas but you guys can kind of see them right there you can see their little patterns um this was requested like i said by that person who i already shouted out i'm just gonna put them up here guys and just watch them disappear into the wood it's really cool You guys can kind of see the patterns I was talking about. Now she's gonna just disappear into the crack of wood and just be gone. You guys can see all the little babies going around right now. But hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, drop a like, smash that subscribe button. Make sure to go join the Discord. Let me know if it works in the comment section below. If it don't work, I guess we're gonna have to stop the Discord because. I care about fair fairness and if it is not fair, if everybody cannot join guys. So thank you guys for watching my videos. If you guys do enjoy, drop a like, smash the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, make sure you do research. I'm out. Peace.